Edmonton, Window Warriors Forum. Check us out at windowcleaningwarriors.com. We're going to take a look at uh, working on a high rise today using a Petzl ID. And our rope grab is going to be a Petzl ASAP. Loading this Petzl ID. This is my first week using the Petzl ID, and it's been a very easy transition. Very easy to set up here. Load it in, close it, secure the locking gate, and putting the chair over the side. Some guys choose to get into the chair and then go over the side, matter of preference. Using the Petzl ice app, connecting that to your safety line. Our buckets are five gallon buckets with a metal handle with an additional rope handle as a backup. We're using a 22 inch applicator, 24 inch Ettore wide body squeegee with the round rubber on it. This is Tawa rope protector, edge protector, best edge protector we have found yet. We really enjoy these. So as the worker gets into the chair, setting up that suction cup, hooking it to the system so it's easily to be reached, and then hooking up the squeegee lanyards, which are expandable tool bungees, repelling down to our first window. It's first window, so we judge, we use our feet to judge where we need to be positioned. Our first uh, position on the window, first window we come to, this is a nine-story building. We will clean the windows, you know, directly below us, obviously. Uh, but to find that position for each window, what we can reach from the top to the bottom, these are large windows. These are easily five foot by almost five foot windows, they're pretty large. We use our feet to judge uh, where that's going to be. So these windows have a window sill underneath them. So as soon as our foot touches that window sill, we drop just a little bit past that and we know we're going to be positioned at the right height to be able to reach the top of the window and that bottom of the window. And then after we squeegee every window, we are also going to squeegee out the frames and then also the marble sill. This marble sill, the only reason, the reason we squeegee that marble sill off is because if we don't, that wet water is going to drip onto the worker throughout the points below us. Um, the water, we don't like, like to have standing water on the sills um, above us dripping constantly. Suction cups on. We use this pretty much the same process pattern to wet each window down in this process and then the same process to uh, squeegee it. So we're going to look at in this video wetting the window down, the use of the suction cup, and then squeegeeing the window using our feet to as guides as we find that position at each window when we come to it, squeegeeing the top of the frame, the front face of this frame, and then the marble ledge that we'll squeegee off on each area. So now as we repel down, as soon as my feet hit that bottom ledge, I'm already grabbing my suction cup, watching the reflection in the window. There goes the suction cup onto the window, applicator, wets behind the suction cup, suction cup pumps back onto the window as we wet this window down. Scrubbing that window in the same pattern, squeegeeing using the same pattern as well. Watch this final stroke, I'm going to remove the suction cup here, close out, squeegee the top sill, frame, and ledge. As we use the suction cup, the farther down we get, we get more sway. So to stabilize us, we're going to use that suction cup for longer periods of time before we close out. And we'll pay attention to this as we go. We touch the ledge. I'm grabbing my cup onto the window, off the window, scrubbing it, and the cup goes back on the window for support. So that cup's going to help stabilize me to give pressure to that window. If I just scrub without that suction cup being on the window, it's going to push me away. I'll have less scrubbing power take me a little bit longer so by using that suction cup to generate force to the window with that scrubber is helpful you can see here I stayed the suction cup stayed on the window longer than the previous window Scooching the sills replacing all the tools this Petzl ID has been a 
great system for us. No user error. If the user lets go at any time, it locks up. So we're going to stop repelling, grab a suction cup for the glass, get behind where the suction is, and back on. Window cleaning is just repeating a process over and over. Most buildings have a similar window style throughout the most of it. Helps for efficiency. Watch how we have the suction cup on the glass, removing it at the last minute. Once we're done with the suction cup, it's just dropping it out of our hand. It's on the lanyard, it's safe to be there. Be comfortable where your tools are located. And that when you do let go of them, they have the safety landings on them, they're going to stay there. Feet touch the sill. Grabbing the suction cup to the glass. That process, this is the last window in this drop here. We're dropping from a ninth floor balcony. So we have floors 8 through 3 that we are cleaning. No floors, no windows on floors 2 or 1. We squeeze this last one. Let's pay attention to that suction cup. Suction cup's off. Closing out. Being able to work that suction cup for high rise is very important on speed. It, it's very the process. Once you get it worked out and it becomes very efficient for you, it's a big time saver. A lot less dangling. We remove our squeegee lanyards our bucket, we remove our suction cup, our jet back to the bucket. We have a three-story repel down to the ground. As we repel to the ground, we try to keep our feet off the building as much as possible. We don't want to leave any footprints on the building at all. We're there to clean it, not to leave anything behind. So you can see the barricades. We're going to take a look at the barricades. After we unhook our Petzl ID, which is a simple process of having some slack in, this, in the system, opening it up, the rope comes right off of it, very simple. The Petzl ASAP rope grab just slides right off the rope. Let's look at our stanchions. We have two stanchions on the right side, two stanchions on the left side, and we have two danger men working up above cones behind us. So the stanchions are great because they expand, they expand up to 15 feet if you want them to. It makes it so the general public can't walk underneath your work zone. Great setup for high rise. Let's look at high rise window cleaning. It's out here. Under Warriors Forum.